really quickly. Let's take a look at uh, BHP. Big deal ahead, potentially, when it does come to Anglo-American. And, and the, the chatter around the traps is that, potentially, the BHP CEO, Mike Henry, is going to be having a little bit of a chat with his compatriot over there at Anglo-American because they're both going to be at a conference in Florida this week. So perhaps we could see a little bit of movement at the station when it does come to that perspective now, according to some of the reports, $40 billion bid versus the 30-odd billion that they did put up the first time around that was rejected. And joining us now to talk a little bit about this and a whole lot more, Hugh Divey, CEO of Atlas Funds Management. Hugh, thanks so much for being here. I've got to start with BHP. You know, perhaps not so much about whether Mike Henry is going to be chatting to the other CEO to perhaps get a deal done. But in terms of how you view the prospect of a deal getting done, is this, in your mind, another case of BHP potentially paying over the top for an asset? Because we've seen it so many times in the past. Yeah, so, well, I mean, the Anglo-American takeover will be the largest in Australian corporate history with approximately 60 billion Aussie of new BHPs being issued. I mean, historically, large mining takeovers have been disastrous for shareholders. And this Anglo deal is quite complicated. It's going to require divestments in Africa, splitting off the South African platinum and iron ore units. BHP is getting back more coal assets after spending the last five years getting out of coal and oil. And it was all designed to, um, to access the copper assets belonging to Anglo. I mean, whilst BHP doesn't look overvalued on 12 times PE with a sort of 4.9 yield, uh, we much prefer to watch this mega mining takeover from the sidelines. It's all, they've generally been bad. They've overpaid. Um, a couple of times, BHP has been rescued. You probably remember their attempted at takeover of Saskatchewan potash. Thankfully, that got <laughs> that got stopped back. That would have been a disaster. This is a very complicated, big deal. And historically, as we've seen, my large mining takeovers don't work as well as the, as the um, investment bankers think they're going to work for. Yeah, and you're fading BHP now. And I suppose I want to add one more element because you, you did mention South Africa, but obviously, in terms of Anglo-American, that the South African sovereign fund has a huge stake in that business. Is, is that a problem as well, the fact that, you know, in order to get their tacit <laughs> approval for anything to get done, that it, it's almost certain that they're going to have to pay above the odds for this, considering, you know, its importance in South Africa. So, <laughs> for BHP, in your mind, though, is there, is there any other option, considering, you know, the dearth of assets or top-tier assets that are available that they're looking for in this deal? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, it's very hard for them to move the needle. They obviously bought Oz Minerals. This is a very complicated deal, and as you correctly um, surmised. There's a lot of regulatory issues in there. The South African government have already sort of put their hands up um, saying that they're, they're going to look at this very, very closely. There's some issues there. I think this is much this is more com much more complicated than takeovers of uh, onshore US, um, or, uh, US uh, shale gas, which we saw with, um, about 10 years ago, or even uh, more, more complicated than Rio's ill-fated takeover of Alcan. This is a difficult one. Um, they're going to probably have to pay up more and more, which is results in more and more dil dilutions uh, for, for the Australian assets. The iron ore growth engine is looking a bit weak. I mean, whilst iron ore has been relatively sold over, over the past year, a range of other co commodities have fallen sharply and it looks vulnerable based on slowing data coming out of China. I think yeah, this is, looks a, to be a, a big, complicated deal, which will distract a lot of management attention um, at a time where, where they probably should be doing things elsewhere, developing the, their existing copper assets acquired by from Oz Minerals.